AI is getting so good at creating, well, everything, but what's really happening under the hood? But does it think like you and me? To figure that out, we've got to put them side by side. You'll see these two minds are on totally different tracks, and it all starts with the hardware. Yeah, the very stuff they're made of is completely different, and that changes pretty much everything. Get this, just one of your neurons is way more complex than an AI's. It's like its own tiny computer. Now, what about power? Your brain, it sips energy, running on just about 20 watts. Compare that to a single AI chip, which can guzzle up to 700 watts. That difference is just wild. So why the huge gap? It's all down to how they're wired and how they send signals. Okay, so if the hardware is different, what about learning? This is where they really go their separate ways. AI has this weird problem. It's called catastrophic forgetting. Learning one thing can erase another. But that's not how we work, right? You can learn Spanish without forgetting how to ride a bike. That's because we learn from just a few examples. And AI, on the other hand, needs to see millions. And this leads to a huge difference. We can leap to brand new ideas. AI just fills in the gaps. All right, let's talk about this software. How do these systems actually think and, you know, understand stuff? So in our heads, we have two systems. System one is your gut instinct. System two is slow, careful thinking. AI is like a supercharged system one, but that slow, logical part, it's just faking it. And that brings up a really deep problem. See, an AI only knows words based on other words. It's like being a master of grammar without knowing what any of the words actually mean out in the real world. We get meaning from living in the world, from having a body. An AI is basically a brain in a jar. So what's the big takeaway? AI isn't an artificial human mind. It's a totally different kind of intelligence. This chart really breaks it down. Look at the huge gaps in energy, learning, thinking, and even goals. So maybe the point isn't to copy us. It's to build a powerful, kind of alien tool we can use. So it's not about who's smarter. The real question is, how do we team up with this new kind of mind? 